Massive hemoptysis refers to the expectoration of 100 to 600 milliliters of blood within 24 hours. This condition presents a significant risk to life, with mortality rates reaching up to 80%. The primary dangers include airway obstruction and inadequate oxygen delivery to the body. Initial management must prioritize the stabilization of the patient's airway, breathing, and circulation. Airway protection and ventilation. Protecting the airway is essential to prevent blood from entering the unaffected lung and impairing gas exchange. Patients should be positioned with the bleeding lung facing downward to reduce the risk of aspiration. In cases requiring intubation, a double lumen endotracheal tube can be used to isolate the non-bleeding lung. If intubation is not indicated, oxygen therapy using high flow devices should be provided to maintain adequate oxygenation. Cardiovascular support. Establishing intravenous access with large bore or central lines is necessary for fluid administration and resuscitation. Blood grouping and cross-matching should be performed promptly, and clotting factors may need to be administered depending on the patient's condition. Fluid resuscitation, with or without blood transfusion, is initiated to address hypovolemia. If the patient is receiving anticoagulant therapy, reversing these agents is critical. For patients in shock or with persistent hemodynamic instability, enotropic agents may be required. Pharmacological interventions. Nebulized adrenaline, at a dose of 5 to 10 milliliters of a 1 in 10,000 solution, can help control airway bleeding. Tranexamic acid may be administered at a dose of 500 milligrams three times daily, provided there is no contraindication such as severe renal impairment. Imaging and Diagnostics Imaging studies, including chest radiography and computed tomography, are used to identify the source of bleeding and assess the extent of lung involvement. These investigations also aid in planning further diagnostic or therapeutic interventions. Bronchoscopy Bronchoscopy is a valuable tool for both diagnosis and management. Early bronchoscopy allows direct visualization of the airway and may help identify the bleeding site. Rigid bronchoscopy, often performed under general anesthesia, is preferred because it provides better access for therapeutic procedures. Balloon tamponade using a Fogarty catheter can be performed during rigid bronchoscopy to temporarily control bleeding. Definitive interventions. Bronchial artery embolization is a procedure performed by interventional radiologists to stop bleeding by occluding the affected blood vessels. Materials such as coils or glue are commonly used for this purpose. If all other measures fail, surgical intervention involving resection of the bleeding lung lobe may be required. Surgery is considered a last resort option and is generally reserved for cases where other treatments have been unsuccessful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.